Hi guys, Warren from the Flying Panda YouTube channel and in this video I'll be talking about Goddess foreshadowing. Enjoy! <laughs> That's right guys, you heard right, I did say Goda, not Oda. Everything he does is intentional and it all predicts the future for us. Before we get started, what is foreshadowing? Foreshadowing is the use of clues to let the readers know what might happen next. Now here are some of my favourites. The foreshadowing of Jinbei. It's amazing how Oda has already had this stuff planned out from the Fishman arc since way back and this started in chapter 69 when Yosaku talks about Jinbei. Another good one is the foreshadowing from Hachi about one fishman is a better swordsman and 600 chapters later introduces Hauzo. I hope you guys are enjoying this and here's the next one. In chapter 444 we first meet a Cerberus and this is one of the sort of lies in chapters 22 to 41. From chapter 504 when Luffy, Law and Kida was attacking the Ocean House to Flamingo said to Disco this is the age of smiles. Don't you ever call this number again. In chapter 685, we're introduced to smiles. One of my least favorite guys, the foreshadow of the death of Portugal's D Ace. In this picture, you can see Luffy making the exact face he had when Ace died, and in his hand, at the top of the deck, is the Ace of Spades card. And right on the other hand is death, represented by a book. Right, let's go back to a funnier one now. In chapter 173, we saw the Denden Mishi when Sanji, Mr. Prince, was talking to Crocodile. And you can see the foreshadowing of Sanji's eyebrow. In chapter 19, we saw the foreshadow of Raleigh. This was during the flashback of Buggy. Chapter 69, the foreshadowing of the New World. When Luffy mentions that some people call the Grand Line a paradise, it hints that there is another world to explore. Back in the Bharati saga, in chapter 68, there was a foreshadowing of the Fisherman Island when Yasaku was stuck in a panda shark. Like most of Usopp's lies, they do come true, like the foreshadowing of the goldfish and of course, the country of the dwarves. This shows throughout the whole series we should take Usopp seriously. Maybe this is a foreshadowing as well between Luffy and Blackbeard, something that turned out a joke became serious. I know one from Usopp when he was joking when his head was on Luffy's poster for 30 million berry. Eventually he got one as well for his head of 30 million berry when he was Sogi King. And now what Usopp said when he mentions a beautiful swordswoman has come with meat that's predicting that Rebecca will exist one day. Even though the meat was targeting Luffy, the swordswoman was targeting Zoro and the beautiful woman was targeting Sanji. Right guys that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this type of video and there'll be plenty more in the upcoming week. Thank you.